my first shift I wanted to just I think I just got out there started skating pretty fast and hit the first guy that was in my way got a hit in me and went from there I was born in Regina Saskatchewan and I uh, moved when I was about 10 years old to Saskatoon uh, I grew up there and then uh, recently moved to Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, Red Deer is where I played junior all four years uh, from when I was a little bit when I was 16 and then 17 to 20 and then I uh, met my girlfriend Tyler there as well so we we really like Red Deer. I've loved it ever since I've played there so. Started playing hockey I think when I was three years old I started skating a bit mostly on the outdoor rink and then in Regina there was a 3-4-5 league actually that kids could go play in so I started with that and then uh, kind of just kept loving it each year and uh, kept kept getting put back in hockey so that was I was always fortunate for that and yeah grew up playing in Regina then moved on playing minor hockey in Saskatoon played uh, midget AAA in Saskatoon as well and then was fortunate to go to Red Deer Rebels camp when I was 15 I think and they uh, I, I wasn't drafted there or anything so I went to camp and I was fortunate to get put on the list of players that they were able to protect. And uh, next year when I was 16, I went to camp and they uh, signed me uh, out of camp. So that was pretty exciting for me, a guy that wasn't drafted or anything. I remember when I didn't get drafted to the WHO, I was pretty torn walking home from school that day. Ended up playing a couple games at the end of the year when I was 16, then uh, 17 to 20 in Red Deer. And then uh, when I was 20, I was fortunate to sign as a free agent with the, the Hawks. So that's, that's been awesome. It's been, uh, been a fun ride so far for sure. Yeah, yeah, I guess I uh, missed out on the Western League draft and then was, uh, wasn't drafted to the NHL either. I actually um, had shoulder surgery when I was 17 and then Almost exactly a year later, the other shoulder I had the same surgery on when I was 18. So I missed 17 and 18, basically both those full years. And those were tough because it was the draft years, but I, I made do and I had a lot of good people working with me. It was awesome. Like I, uh, I actually met Raf when I was 16. My brother and uh, Raf were working together. He, uh, my older brother Wyatt played in Red Deer as well, so that was pretty sweet uh, to be able to play with him. And then uh, that's how I kind of got introduced to Mike and we uh, we hit it off right away. Um, we had chats about hopefully getting drafted when I was 17, but it obviously didn't end up happening after injury and all that stuff. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a, been a crazy road, but it's been awesome for sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Definitely had a good good group of people around me. Uh, my older brother helped me lots through all that stuff. The uh, the setbacks and all that, but honestly, that's I think that helps guys get to where they want to be. I think if I hadn't hurt my shoulders in junior, I don't think I would be in the NHL now. Honestly, I think it helped me so much to be able to push through that and learn from injuries and all that stuff not making teams, whatever it was. So yeah, the uh, just determination and honestly working hard through those injuries. Coming back when I was 18 and 19, I felt like I couldn't play hockey really, but like uh, Eric Lodge and Red Deer, great skills coach, helped me a ton. Uh, all the Red Deer staff, uh, Brent Sutter's coach, GM, helped me a ton. And then, uh, yeah, honestly, my brother, family was, great supportive and uh, they helped me a lot for sure half the time we're talking we chat chat a bit about hockey here and there but usually just see how things are going and I think he's done an unbelievable job at uh, growing Kaizen and in the right way I mean he hasn't rushed anything he's taken time with all his players he represents um, and I can speak firsthand of that. I mean, he, he'll do anything for me and I can call him whenever I want. Um, yeah, always open to chat about anything that way. So that's been great. So yeah, honestly, he's, he's done an unreal job at building it and 
Uh, he truly cares about every one of his players, which, and everyone I talk to, all the young guys coming up in the agency are, have nothing but great things to say about Raf. so. Come camp and during the season, Raf and I are talking um, maybe once a week, couple times a week, whatever, but we're always having talks about what we, what we need to do and what I need to do to keep getting better and keep getting better each day is a thing I always like to remind myself of and we have chats about that and how how I can do that and how he can help me whether it's through video or um, reaching out to skills coaches. Denver Manderson has been great. Uh, Raf set me up with him, things like that. So it's kind of a, a constant conversation is what it should be. Um, kind of described as so. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I uh, well, when I was I was twenty and obviously had hopes to um, get signed as a free agent. But um, when I signed, it was about three quarters of the way through the season. Hadn't chatted with really any teams at all. So I had plans, and you know, you know, you're always hoping for Plan A, but kind of Plan B was to go to U of S back home and I always had interest in being a police officer or something along that line. So that was, uh, that would have been set up for me and I would have been fortunate to use my scholarship for that. There's uh, a ton of good players that come out of the Western League that I'm, don't end up getting it, getting to the NHL, but I mean, uh, when a lot of them maybe should or whatever. So I was definitely fortunate to have uh, have the Hawks come and watch me a couple times. They uh, they had signed my teammate Brandon Hagel actually earlier on in the year, so they uh, they had told me that they kind of noticed me when they came to watch Haggy. So maybe I should give Haggy a little shout out here. He'd he'd like that one for sure if he ever watches this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give him a tag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I was 19, 20, really started taking a lot of pride in uh, the little things, and one of those things was face-offs, uh, finishing checks, and just being being hard to play against was another thing. So um, it wasn't anything crazy, but it was I think a lot of the little things they liked. So yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't scoring too many goals really, so that that wasn't part of it. But it, no, it was mostly hard work, uh, a lot of the little things that helped me. Yeah, I think for me, surrounding myself with people around me, the right people, uh, that was a huge one. And I, I still find that, I think that's key. Uh, staying focused was another thing. I mean, especially when I had my year and a half, two years off, uh, I still did things that I thought might help me on the ice, um, even though I wasn't actually suiting up every night, things like that. Um, yeah, just believe in yourself. Some cliche things, but honestly, I think it, I think it really matters. Always work hard, do your best, get better every day, have fun. That was all stuff that I uh, still remind myself of. So. I mean, there's definitely good days and bad days. I don't know if there's, for me, maybe not as much ugly, just because I know when you know there's going to be good days and bad days, I think you can kind of ex expect it and not be too phased by things that don't work out or if you have a bad shift, bad game, I mean, nothing you do is gonna change that turnover, bad shift or bad day, you know, if a coach is getting on you, things like that. I mean, nothing, you just gotta kinda keep moving on and I think learn from it is the best best way to keep going. I still uh, always thinking to, you know, remind yourself and just learn from things. I mean, we're all trying to get better every day. Everyone's always learning. I think you should, for myself, I, I'm always trying to learn from teammates and coaches and things like that. So yeah, there's definitely good days and bad days, but there's been guys, guys actually brought it up quite a bit last year. I don't know if we were all hanging out and a couple of veteran boys were saying how there's never a bad day in the NHL. And I think that's true, honestly, I think I'm, I'm very fortunate every day, so it's been awesome. Excited for sure. Um, really good group of guys that are going to be returning from last year, and I think um, the guys that we brought in are going to be a good addition. I think, yeah, it's, it's exciting. I mean, 
kind of goes well with the underdog media, but I think we'll, we'll be considered underdogs this year. Um, but I, I like that challenge and I think um, we'll be able to rise to the challenge. I'm excited for that. I think we'll, we'll have a good group and the coaching staff that uh, Kyle's put together um, is gonna be great. It's exciting. Any kid that would just pick up the phone with Raf would be able to tell if they uh, had a little bit of character in them, but I mean, just, uh, yeah, he'll, he'll work hard for you. It's not you just working hard. I know he does a lot uh, for me and he, he does a lot for every player he, he works with. So he, uh, and he's passionate about his job. I think that's uh, what makes him a good agent for sure. So yeah, he'd definitely do anything for any of his players. And um, yeah, he's, he's been, been awesome. He's, he's done a really good job and I'm proud of him for that.